center, number two, Baylor. They're unbeaten at 15 and 0 as they take on Auburn. First team All-American, without a doubt. Macy Odega, great Tiga, great offensive player. But Davion Mitchell, to me, is the best two-way guard. Reed Cooper, the guy for Auburn on the other side, just eligible six games in, and what a difference he's made. No doubt about it, John. I was down at practice last night in Waco watching them, and he's listed at 6'1". You know, I'm, I'm an expert on height of anybody under six feet tall, and I'll give him 5'11 with high hair, but that doesn't mean he's not a dominant player. Take a look at this vision for a guy who's listed at 6'1". This is a left-handed pass, and he's a righty, by the way. On time, on target, money. Now, what I love about this kid is he gets into the tall timber and he engages, take away the way he engages the big right here. He knows his teammate is rolling to the rim. He gets the big in the air. Just a simple drop off pass for an easy one. Here's another example right here. Gets downhill into the lane, engages the big, takes a look. He sees Stretch Akingbola inside and look at this wraparound pass. He has made the game so much easier for these young Auburn Tigers, the youngest team in the country. John, that tells you the story right now. Butler there. replaces Davion Mitchell, had a good look at it. One of the things oh, I like about that was a really good looking shot. They, they just couldn't finish. Yeah. Oh, there's a pass. I think you got to make Cooper a scorer, John. His passing is way more dangerous. Even though he's averaging 22, it's a high-volume set of shooting. Goes to the goal, puts it in off the glass. And there's that and fearless. We're tied up at 14. Yep, fearless driver. Mitchell at the free throw line. Fouls. Take a look right here. Let's see that. Is it? It's the left arm. No, nope, it's the right arm. My fault. There it is. A lot of contact coming off that great game earlier in the week against Kansas State, but they have the depth to survive his. And Tigers with a chance to take the lead. Good drive again, but again, the size of Auburn in that lane. Offensive foul. I think they're a Final Four contender a year from now. Oh, shot rejected. Nicely done. Jalen Williams throwing back the effort from Davian Mitchell. And then a step in. Butler takes it away. To the other end, and he puts it in. And to draw defenders in and make plays like that. That three for Auburn, by the way. They were one for 12 from beyond the arc before that three. Butler unimpeded puts it in. Jared Butler now with nine. Nice screen inside by uh, Everyday John. Loose ball, it'll be Auburn basketball. Watch Everyday John now. He's going he's gonna to seal his man in the lane. And that creates, that's why there's type shots or those mid-range floaters. Cooper, shot rejected. That looked like vital. Teague, that's a three. Got it. Time out. His way to the basket. A little too strong. Loose ball. Auburn basketball. Vital. Wow. I got a great look at it from yep. Mitchell. Good rescreen. The defender went under, and Mitchell knew exactly what to do. Now, at worst. Mitchell kicked to the corner. Butler spins it up and in. Wow. He is first team All-American, and if this team wasn't so balanced, you'd certainly put him in the mix for player of the year along with Luca Garza. Mitchell, we've been told John has two fouls. Okay. Scott Drew certainly did not like that call. Oh man. And now well, they're starting to heat up a little bit. As, as Jared Butler has. I mean, he's shooting nearly 50% from three. Yeah, came in at 47%. That's too easy. Butler. As good as any backcourt in America. Proven it time and time again. Butler left side. Oh my goodness! Wow. Look now. No surprise if you've been around this Baylor program the last three years. There is a tremendous respect for this kid's talent. Down. Good tip out. 
Good action on the offensive glass. Mitchell, God, he's automatic. Holy cow, what a possession. Everybody efforting, everybody touching. I have no freaking idea who would win that game because I've seen them both and they're both great. But if you made me de decide, I would say they still want to try to play. I don't think it's going to happen. But you know what the great thing about this? If we see them, it's going to And uh, he signed with Presbyterian at a Duluth High School where he competed, as I said earlier, against Sharif Cooper. How about that? How about JT Thor? Here, after averaging, you ready? Three points a game at UNLV. Hey, Baylor has once again, the Bears are going to come away with a win here today. They're going to get 101, but they're not going to. Baylor 16 and oh, they win it by a dozen. 16 and oh, the second best start in program history.